Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer deaths in Malaysia for both men and women. Your lungs are two spongy organs in your chest. The left lung is divided into two lobes, or sections, and the right lung has three lobes. When you breathe in, air enters your nose or mouth and passes into your trachea or windpipe. At the carina, the trachea divides into two bronchi, then branches into smaller bronchioles. The bronchioles end in tiny air sacs or alveoli. Here, the oxygen in the air you inhale passes into the bloodstream and carbon dioxide from your body passes out of the bloodstream. The carbon dioxide is expelled from your body when you exhale. Your lungs are encased by pleura, a thin membrane that protects them and helps them slide back and forth as you breathe in and out. Underneath your lungs is the diaphragm, a smooth, thin muscle that helps your lungs expand and contract as you breathe. Your lungs are connected to small collections of immune system cells called lymph nodes by way of lymphatic vessels. You have groups of these lymph nodes near your lungs, above your collarbones, and behind your breastbone, as well as in other parts of your body. Lung cancers most commonly start in the bronchi, but they can also begin in the trachea, bronchioles, or alveoli. Early lung cancer typically does not cause symptoms. As the cancer grows, you may experience symptoms such as a cough that gets worse or does not go away, shortness of breath, chest pain, and wheezing. Other symptoms of lung cancer include coughing up blood, hoarseness, weight loss without trying, and frequent lung infections, such as pneumonia. Other health problems may cause these symptoms. You should see your doctor if you have any symptoms you're concerned about. The staging of lung cancer refers to the extent of the disease. If you have the most common form of lung cancer, or non-small cell lung cancer, it will be staged according to the size of the tumor and whether it has spread to the lymph nodes or other organs of the body. In the occult, or hidden stage, cancer cells are found in coughed up mucus or in other lung fluids, but no tumor can be seen in the lungs. Stage zero is not considered invasive because the cancer cells are found in the innermost lining of the air passages but have not grown through it. Stage 1A is considered invasive cancer because the tumor has grown through the inner lining of the airways into the deep lung tissue and has not spread to distant sites. In stage 1B, the tumor has spread to a main bronchus or has grown through the lung into the inner layer of the pleura. In stage 2A, the tumor has spread to nearby lymph nodes on the same side of the chest as the tumor. There are two scenarios that can occur with stage 2B lung cancer. One, where cancer cells have not spread to nearby lymph nodes, but have invaded the chest wall, diaphragm, pleura, the membrane surrounding the heart, or a main bronchus. In the second scenario for stage 2B, the cancer has spread to the lymph nodes on the same side of the chest as the tumor or has grown into a main bronchus or has grown through the lung into the pleura. In stage 3A, the cancer cells have spread to the lymph nodes on the same side as the lung tumor. Also, the cancer may have spread to the chest wall, diaphragm, pleura, the membranes around the heart, or a main bronchus, but not the trachea. In stage 3B, the tumor has spread to lymph nodes above the collarbone or on the other side of the chest. The cancer may have spread to nearby structures or to more than one place in the same lung. In stage 4, cancer has spread to other parts of the body, such as the brain, liver, kidneys, adrenal glands, or bone. If you have small cell lung cancer, it is often staged using a simpler two-part system because treatment options don't vary much between the more detailed stages used to describe non-small cell lung cancer. 
In limited stage small cell lung cancer, cancer cells are found in one lung and may be found in the tissues between the lungs and in nearby lymph nodes. If cancer is found in the other lung, in the lymph nodes on the other side of the chest, or in other parts of the body, it is called extensive stage. Treatment options for cancer include local therapies such as surgery and radiation therapy and systemic therapies such as chemotherapy and targeted therapy. You may receive one or a combination of these treatments. There are several surgical options depending on the type and stage of the cancer. During a wedge resection or segmentectomy, the tumor and a small margin of healthy tissue are removed. In a lobectomy or sleeve lobectomy, one lobe of a lung is removed. During a pneumonectomy, the surgeon removes the entire lung. In a sleeve resection, a diseased section of a large airway is removed and the healthy ends are reattached. During any of these procedures, your surgeon may remove lymph to check them for signs of cancer. Radiation therapy or radiotherapy is a local treatment that uses high energy rays to kill or shrink cancer cells to relieve symptoms. External beam radiation therapy or ERBT is directed at the cancer's location from a machine outside your body. Brachytherapy or internal radiation therapy often in the form of pellets is most commonly used to help relieve blockage of the large airways by cancer. Chemotherapy is a systemic treatment that uses drugs to stop the growth of the cancer cells by either killing them or inhibiting their cell division. Once the drugs enter the bloodstream, they can travel and reach cancer cells throughout the body. Targeted therapies are newer cancer treatments that work by focusing on specific genetic abnormalities of cancer cells. One targeted therapy, bevacizumab, starves the tumor by stopping it from creating a new blood supply. Another targeted therapy, erlotinib, stops tumor growth by blocking the chemicals that signal the cancer cells to grow and divide. Lung cancer prevention includes actions you can take to lower your chance of developing cancer. The most important thing you can do to prevent lung cancer is to not start smoking or to quit smoking if you do. Avoid breathing in other people's smoke. Test your home for radon, a known carcinogen or cancer-causing agent. Avoid exposure to cancer-causing chemicals at work. Maintain a healthy weight because being overweight can cause the body to circulate higher levels of certain hormones that can stimulate cancer growth. Eat a diet full of fruits and vegetables, which are packed with substances that can help reduce your risk of cancer and help control your weight. Exercise regularly, which will help you control your weight and reduce your risk through its positive influence on your hormone levels and immune system. Be sure and talk to your doctor about ways to reduce your risk of lung cancer.